Welcome back to the Math Goose, where for Math 7, we're talking about probability, and specifically we're reviewing for the test coming up. So quickly, let's go over probability. Um, so we talked about favorable outcomes last time. And so probability, so you flip a coin, what is the probability of flipping tells? So we're looking at the probability of this event occurring. So number of favorable outcomes number of po over number of out possible outcomes. So there, when you're looking at a coin, you have two outcomes. You have a head or you have a tail. So probability of tells. So there is one tail and there are two possible outcomes. So we have one over two. The probability of flipping tells is one half or 50%. So that was pretty, pretty simple. We're looking for one of our possible two outcomes. Okay, let's look at something a little bit, a little bit, bit or a little bit different. So we have a six sided um, number cube or die. Um, so you're rolling a die. And you want to you want to find out the probability of certain events happening. Uh, maybe you're playing a role playing game, and certain number combinations matter. So we want to figure out what the probability of rolling a one is. Okay. Well, we have one one on this on this die. And we have six possibilities. So our probability of rolling a one is one sixth. Okay, and that's what it's going to be for a two, for a three, for a four, for a five, for a six. But let's say we want to find out the probability of rolling a three or four. Okay, well, that changes things. We're looking at there is. We're looking for either a three or a four. So there are two two common or two numbers here that give us a favorable outcome. So that's two. And then there are six possibilities, which reduces down to one third. So we have a higher probability of rolling one of two numbers than we do of just rolling one number. I mean, what or what number should we roll this time? What one do you want to roll? A uh, three. A what? A three. A three. What else? Mm. Which one? One and which other one? Ah. Uh. Two. Two. Okay. So we want to roll one, two, or three. So we're gonna we have one, two, or three, that's three possibilities. And we have six possible outcomes, which gives us a one half probability of that event happening. So when we're talking about probability, we're gonna take our favorable. Our, our number of favorable outcomes over our number of possible outcomes. And then we're going to put it into a fraction form. Um, you can put any of these into a decimal form, such as one third is equal to 0.33 repeating or 33.3 repeating percent. So either any way you want to write these is an acceptable way. So that would be probability, very basic.